All right, so today we've got a lot of uh, a lot of box office talk going on. We're going to talk a little bit about the weekend box office uh, success for Wonka. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the annual box office, and we're going to talk about how this might be the worst year for comic book movies ever, and not just in like money made or not made but uh you'll see let's get into it hello everybody welcome back to the daily cup of genre here on the genreverse youtube channel and genreverse podcast network available on all of your favorite podcast apps such as like apple and spotify uh you do pretty good on apple leave us a thumbs up or you know uh, not a thumbs up rate rate us right there with the stars and uh same thing over on on spotify and all your apps uh interact leave a comment let us know what we're doing right what we're doing wrong check out the genreverse on youtube if you're not watching us on youtube uh if you're into uh more than just the podcast that cover everything in entertainment we have our anime reactions do trailer reactions and so much more even do some uh live streaming like the other day i actually streamed myself uh editing a reaction gaming streams and uh whatnot and of course lrmonline.com every day for all entertainment news needs opinions celebrity interviews from the lrm youtube channel and more uh yeah guys we got a week and and oh i'm kyle by the way uh names on the screen <laughs> i've been doing this show uh it used to be called lr mornings uh back when it was on lrm's uh 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 podcast and and youtube channel um and i i just i forget to introduce myself i used to do it with with manny uh daily cog with manny and i would introduce us both um, but when it's just me, it's like, you should know who I am now, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm Kyle and, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a week until Christmas. Um, we, we, uh, we like to watch, you know, the classics, your, uh, the Santa Claus Muppets, Christmas Carol, um, Christmas vacation, but also what we really enjoy is going through and watching all the, like, um, uh, television shows our, our favorite sitcoms or or animated uh series and and watch their christmas episodes and but yeah let me know what some of your guys's favorite uh christmas things are down in the uh uh comments because i want to do a little like um christmas not like review but more more of a christmas discussion later on in the week when we get uh close to it Speaking of later in the week, I I made four last week. Can I make five this week? I made four in a row. It wasn't like I had a break. Uh, let's do a quick round. LRMonline.com for all of your entertainment news needs and opinions. Makoto Shinkai Suzume is coming to Blu-ray next uh, next year, March. This is a good movie. We actually did a review. If you're on LRM Online, you can catch our review. It's here on the Genreverse uh, YouTube channel. Uh, good, good movie. Beautiful movie. Uh, it's, it's not weathering with you or your name, which is not bad. This is like, you know, Hey man, I had, a I I had, um, the world's greatest hamburger, the world's greatest slice of, of pizza and the world's greatest, um, uh, steak. And you happen to like steak and pizza more than you like burgers, but you still like burgers and it was a it was a really good burger it's kind of like that right <laughs> third place out of three great great things uh but yeah it's coming march 24th you guys can find all the details here there's going to be a special edition with all sorts of extras including uh some of the things you, if you're watching us on youtube you can see here like the art cards and and uh notes uh also around lrm online you guys can find bar side buzz which is uh kind of like our our rumor filter that cam clark usually does uh daredevil and spider-man 4 will there even actually be a spider-man 4 if you watch my uh box office talk later on you'll start to wonder if no i'm joking it, they're they're gonna do one um i look man i love i loved the netflix daredevil stuff i'm not sure after She-Hulk, which I know is its own thing, and she kind of e erased everything, but not really. Um, I, I'm worried. Echo is rated M. Daredevil's going to have a bit part in it somewhere, and that's allegedly what we might be able to expect from the, the upcoming Daredevil show. But regardless of that, um, I'm so burned out on, on MCU that it, it'll take a lot 
to get me back into it a lot. And I just don't know if uh, Marvel can do it. But you can read about this rumor and more, like I said, lrmonline.com. Um, why do we, why do I do that? Man, I've been working with this, this website now for, uh, since 2018 is when I started August of, of 2018. Um, so it's been a while. It's been five, five years, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> going, going into six next year. Um, and it's a great website and we are always looking for writers. I don't know if the, uh, uh, writers one it is there on the, on the front page right now, but, uh, you can, uh, email Michael M I C H A E L at LRM online.com. And as you can see, we, we, people write about anything and everything they want. There it is. Uh, so if you're interested in writing for the website, uh, anime movies, uh, tabletop gaming, RPGs, whatever you want to write about, let us know, write Michael, uh, and we'll see what we can, uh, what we can work out. So now we get into the fun stuff. What's the fun stuff, Kyle? The fun stuff is weekend box office. I don't know why I try to make it exciting. It's really, really not. This is just me nerding out over business stuff. I love business. It's the American way. Five points for that, uh, uh, reference or is it the British way? Even though, never mind, not getting into it. Uh, <laughs> Wonka came out very, very, uh, very classic story. Um, people have uh, known and loved uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, not the movie, the the book for <laughs> for what seems like eons, right? Uh, decades. Um, and of course, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the movie being a beloved film, uh, multi generational, across generational, pan generational, whatever you want to say, it is an all ages, all time affair. Uh, the brilliant Gene Wilder made the role of Wonka essentially untouchable. Uh, Johnny Depp gave his uh, try with it uh, many years ago in the 2000 somethings. I don't even remember. When did that one come out? I don't remember. Any anyways, uh, and it was uh, more faithful to the books, so to speak. And uh, it didn't, it didn't hit very well um, because you just, you cannot compare to uh, Wilder. Wilder was just uh, 2005 for Depp's uh, Depp's version of the film. Wilder is just his his portrayal is untouchable. That being said, Wonka brought in a allegedly surprising 39 million dollars. Uh, it was predicted to have less than that, so that is good and surprising, but it's still in, incredibly low. Uh, Timothy Chalamet leading this, you know, he's, he's hot off of several projects, including Dune, got Dune 2, uh, PR, PR, um, not, I guess PR, but Dune 2 advertising's in full effect. Uh, he's, he's making, uh, you're seeing the trailers and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, he's gotta, he's gotta compare to, to, uh, Gene Wilder's Wonka and, Seems like it was okay. I mean, are we are we are we going to get to the point to where we lower our expectations now? And these movies aren't surprising when they only make 40, 50 million dollars. Um, I hope not. That's going to be rough for for the theaters. This whole year is going to be rough for for the theaters. Hunger Games continues to be uh, a surprising juggernaut, and by that I don't mean that it makes a lot of money, but that it is hanging on. And is doing well enough to warrant sticking in. It's made $145 million so far in the domestic box office and is sitting close to $300 million worldwide. So bravo for them. Boy in the Heron, uh, um, that is the uh, Miyazaki film. Uh, we were just talking about uh, Shinkai just a minute ago with Suzume. Uh, good for it. Glad to see it's doing well. It'll probably go up for some some awards if it hasn't all already. Um, Godzilla minus one trolls band together, rounding out the top five with Wish Christmas Christmas with the Chosen Holy Knight Napoleon, uh, the Beyonce uh, uh, concert film, and Poor Things rounding out the top ten. It was a weak weekend box office at seventy six million dollars. Um, 
sucks, man. It's it's rough when you start looking at how that plays into the uh, annual numbers where I've got right here. Um, you know, we we I had shown you back where they had predictions of this being like nine, uh, as high as like twelve billion months and months and months ago. Um, and it's just dwindled the prediction for what what we'll end up with at the end of the year. Right now, they're sitting at um, about nine one nine point one mil billion dollars, and I don't think we're gonna we're gonna get that. You've only got two weeks left, essentially, um, and you've got uh, Aquaman as your next big one, and it's not tracking very well. You know, Aquaman. Um, Hell, you even had Jason Momoa come out uh, the other day and say, uh, in regards to his future as Aquaman, it doesn't look good, you know? Um, and there's already been rumors he could come back as Lobo. It's a Lobo's a, a character he's wanted to play for a while. Um, so even though it doesn't look good for, for Aquaman, um, which back in uh in november was tracking 40 to, to 50 50 million i think i've seen other tracking 35 to 40 uh 35 to 45 um point being i don't think this gets us to 991 i don't think i don't think aquaman gets us to 91 um even even with uh two two weekends I don't think it gets us to nine one. We we're gonna end between eight five and nine. Like I said weeks ago, I don't I don't remember exactly when. Before I stupidly was like, ah man, it'll be closer to nine, maybe nine. And, and no, I'm thinking it's it's probably gonna be in that like eight six. We're sitting at eight four right now. Eight four. Uh, eight, six, maybe eight, seven at the most. Yeah. We'll, we'll say eight, seven at the most right in between that eight, five and, and nine, um, which is better than what we had last year, you know, last year, seven, four. So we'll break it, uh, by over a billion, which is, which is nice. That's a nice little increase. If we didn't have the movies we had this year, um, I was trying to do a rough count of the uh uh comic book movies that we had i counted out like eight eight of them including animated comic book movies such as uh spider-man across the spider-verse which is the top money making uh uh comic book movie for the year and that's not a slight that it's like kind of shocking because it's anim animated um it's kind of shocking because of everything else that that we had spider-verse the first one was well loved didn't make a lot of money in theaters but was very well well loved and this one did loads better as i forget how to drink i'm sorry about that <laughs> anyways um followed by guardians of the galaxy uh volume three uh which did not bring in a billion dollars itself neither did um uh, neither did across the spider verse guardians brought in 845. I was going to say 834, but I was a little off. I had seen it, uh, not too, too long ago. Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania 214. Uh, and these are domestic numbers. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with from here on out Ninja turtles at 118 down at number 21, the flash 108, the Marvels 84 blue beetles, 72, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, 57, 57 million. Isn't that crazy? So all these movies combined, man, a few years ago, without the um without the drama we've we've had with DC, without the uh um oversaturation of, of Marvel, especially with poor marvel which comes from the fact that they were just trying to pump out too much um if this wasn't then if this was like 2019 especially even um i i think this would be a huge year man that's a lot of comic book movies you know and if they hadn't all come with controversies some of it warranted some of it maybe not this would be a huge year, man. But instead, this is this is the year I think we we saw 
the 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 comic book movie fatigue hit. Next year is going to be awful, awful. We're we're only getting. Okay, there there's 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 going to be uh there's a couple of DC things coming out, isn't there? No, maybe not. I don't remember. But on on Marvel's side, the only thing we're getting MCU that's not a series is Deadpool which I've got issues with because I don't like the Fox men to begin with and I don't care to even watch Deadpool kill them. Like, this being Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, so to speak, I don't care if he's just going to be killing a bunch of Fox, Fox men. It's... I was hashtag give the rights back to Marvel for Sony and, and Fox for a reason. And it wasn't just to see Marvel use those same versions of the characters. It was wanting new ones. Um, I'm fine with Deadpool crossing over because he was already kind of separate minus some nudge, nudge, wink, wink jokes in the films. Um, but we're getting that and then we're getting uh, Venom 3, allegedly, uh, Craven and Madam Web. Um, and Madam Web looks like it cannot decide on whether it is a, uh, 2003 movie. And I don't mean set in the two thousands, which I think it is. Uh, I think it's set in the past a, a bit cause you're, you're dealing with, uh, young, um, young Ben and it's, and May and they're connected into whatever Craven looks bad. Venom three. I cannot believe the people that have helped that movie franchise make money i i seriously blame you guys for everything sony's done since <laughs> because they were like oh man they actually liked venom we do good yay we do good amy pascal and company my god um that that's it for for marvel um it, it's it's gonna be a rough year and and while while i said you know like look it some of the movies made money this year, which is, which is great. Um, it's not what it needs to be. Uh, I think we're getting Joker, Joker next year for DC. Um, and that might be it for DC. Um, yeah, that's, that's next year's comic book movie year. So while this year might be one of the worst years money wise, um, in a long, long time, next year might be one of the worst years movie wise <laughs> since, uh, Batman forever, Batman and, and Robin, um, that one, Batman and Robin was the, the last one, right? Um, of those, the Schumacher films, um, yeah, it's, it's rough. The only thing I can say is, is, uh, less content, but better content. And people got to gotta be willing to go support the content that they do want to support with their wallets when they can. Don't take your bread and milk money, your gas money, your rent money, your mortgage money to go see a, a movie. But you know what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, hopefully next year will, will be better somehow. I don't, I don't see how, like when it comes to next year's, uh, box office, one MCU, I mean, look at how paltry the box office is relatively this year with multiple MCU and DC movies. Imagine you next year where you're getting no like interconnected DC films. Will Joker pull a, a billion dollars worldwide? Joker 2 pull a billion dollars worldwide, especially when you're looking at a new Batman popping up shortly after and a continuation of the Batman who introduced their own Joker. Um, I, I don't know guys, it's all sorts of confusing, but Hey, everything's connected in a, in a, in a multiverse, right? Well, the, uh, genre verse has its own multiverse. It's all of the videos, all of the shows that we do daily cog breaking geek radio. will be back with a, uh, new name and format sometime in the new, uh, sometime in the new year, the cantina anim anime reactions and more, of course, all of that available in your favorite podcast apps, except for the reaction, uh, cause you know, those really require videos. And of course, LRMonline.com for all the write-ups. Uh, don't forget if you want to, uh, 
be a writer or just want to try your hand at it, uh, build up a portfolio, so to speak. Michael at LRMOnline.com. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for listening today, and I will hopefully uh, see you tomorrow.